Hi, now I will be talking about the Sanford Venor Sanford VPN. For the Sanford VPN, it deployed in a varying network. For example, in a HQ and a branch office, the VPN tunnel is established if each of the network is deployed by the Sanford device. Next, we are going to make configuration of the Venor according to this topology, where one Venor deployed as the HQ site with the LAN interface of 192.168.100.100/24 and the WAN interface of 10.100.100.100. As for the remote Venor that deployed as the branch office, we will be configuring the LAN interface of 192.200.200.100/24 and the WAN interface of 20.100.100.100. Step 1. We will need to configure the server at the HQ side of the Venor. First, access the Venor. Go to Sanford VPN and the server. For the basic setting, the primary web agent will be using 10.100.100.100 and the listening port will be 4009. The share key in our case will be using 123. As for the MTU, the compression value and also the listening port will be used as the default setting. Next, click test. We can see here the tested is end with the valid status. Save and apply. And restart the service for the changes to be made. Next, we will need to configure a VPN user account that can be used by the remote Venor at the branch office site. Click New User. For the username in our case, we will be using branch office with the password of 123. For the authentication stay local, Algorithm will be using AES and the user type is branch user. Check the enable user and click OK. We can see here the user is added successfully. And the total user now will be 3. We will need to configure the client at the remote site, which is the Venor at the branch office. Now access the Venor at the branch office site. Go to Sanford VPN and the client we will need to set up a new VPN connection. For the connection name, in our case, will be branch office. The primary agent will be using 10.100.100.100 and the listening port will be 4009 that we created in the server. We can see here the tested is valid. And the share key must be the same as the server side, which is 123. Transfer protocol will be using TCP. As for the username, we will be use the user that created at the server side, which is branch office, with the password of 123. Check the enable connection and click OK. Save and apply. And restart the service to save the changes. After done, we go to the status, the VPN status, 
to start the service. We can see here the connection now is up and the VPN connection is already connected between the HQ and the branch office. With the LAN IP of 192.168.100.100 and the internet IP of 10.100.100.100. Step 3. We will need to configure the local subnet at the local side, which is the WANOR at the HQ side. Now go to the network under network local subnet. We will create a new local subnet, which is the IP of 192.168. Point ten point zero slash twenty four. And add another new local subnet with the IP address of one nine two point one six eight point eleven point zero slash twenty four. So that the remote vendor can locate the local subnet of the local vendor. That would be all. So that's the end of this video, thank you for watching.